everyone. It's really good to be with you this morning and to be sharing our thought for the day on this Maunday Thursday, a day when Christians all around the world are remembering the time that Jesus spent with his disciples, sharing that final Passover meal before he died. I was reading the book of Lamentations this week and thinking a lot about the emotions that the disciples would have experienced between that Passover meal and Jesus' resurrection. And I've been thinking too about the emotions that we are experiencing during this time with the coronavirus going on around the world. I'd like to read the verses that I was reading from Lamentations to you now and then give you a couple of thoughts that came out of it for me. So I'm reading from Lamentations 3 and starting at verse 20. I'll never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet still I dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance and therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. Three things that struck me from this passage. The first is the grief and lament expressed by the writer. He says he'll never forget that awful time. I'm sure the disciples never forgot the grief that they experienced following the death of Jesus. And I'm quite sure that we will never forget the grief that we have experienced during this time. Both the grief of the loss of people all around the world, but also the temporary grief and loss that we are feeling because of the lockdown and the lack of time that we're being able to spend together with our friends and our families. And yet the writer here says, despite his grief, he still dares to hope. He is able to express his grief but then also to hope in the faithfulness of his God. He says the Lord is his inheritance. The disciples discovered that they still had hope when Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. And that same Lord, that same risen Jesus, is our inheritance too. And so despite this time of grief, we also have hope. It's a mystery of our faith that we can hold both grief and hope together. Maybe some of us feel overwhelmed by our grief right now. Maybe some of us feel almost uncomfortable at the thought of celebrating Easter this weekend, knowing what so many are going through. And yet we can hold these two things together. We don't grieve into nothing, but we grieve into the arms of the Father. We don't have a hope that is in vain, but we hope in the risen Lord Jesus. And finally, the writer says that it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. At this time of almost enforced silence for many, we have nothing more that we can do but to sit before our God. And as we carry on into this Easter weekend, my prayer for all of us is that as we sit before God, as we wait quietly before him, that we will experience his peace and his presence. Our God is a God who saves. He's a God who is faithful. He's a God who is able to hold our grief and to give us hope. Let's pray together now. Father, I thank you for this Easter time. I thank you for that very personal time that you spent with your disciples when you shared a meal with them, preparing them for what was to come. I want to thank you, God, that in our homes today, you share that time with us. As we eat today, you will be present with us. And I pray that within our grief and confusion, within our loss, at this time, you would raise in us hope. Hope in the risen Lord Jesus and hope in the inheritance that we can have in him. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed and have a good Easter time.